All right, this is the same example that we did before, but now I'm calling it example 2b, because what we want to do is make a different equation out of this. Um, so we already made a, si a cosine equation, so now I want to make it be a sine equation. And you might realize by now that the only difference between these two is a phase shift. Um, if I uh, uh, were to um, like go back to that applet that we played with and then move that around, you can see that you can turn a cosine into a sine pretty easy and a sine into a cosine. So what we want to do is we want to turn this equation into a sine. And even though I just kind of struck out the word cosine and put sine, um, we have to make some other changes and the change we have to make is to the phase shift. So the amplitude remains the same, the period remains the same, and the vertical shift remains the same, and they always remain the same. Nothing's going to change there. The only part that's going to change is the phase shift. So this is how we do a phase shift to make it a sine curve. Well, you'll recall that, let me make a little bigger one here, you'll recall that the sine curve has a maximum right here a quarter of the way through the period. So in this particular case, the period is 2 pi. Therefore, I should have a maximum at pi over 2. That's where a maximum should occur if it's a sine curve. But look here. My maximum is not at pi over 2. It's at 0. And let me change colors here. And I like to put a dot here and say, and this is how I like to do it, I put a dot here and I say I should have a maximum of pi over 2, but it's been shifted to the left. And I draw an arrow that way. So that tells me that C then is negative because it went left, pi over 2. So now I can make my equation. And let's erase some things here. Let's erase this. Let's erase this. Okay, so now we're making this a sign, and it's, remember, it's minus, but the C is minus pi over 2, and I can simplify that a little bit to be y equals 2 times sine. Um, go ahead and keep the 1 there. You don't have to, but you can keep the 1 there to show that B is 1. doesn't matter. And this simplifies to x plus pi over 2 minus 4. And there we've made yet another e uh, new equation for the same translated graph. Um, you can actually do, um, you can make several things. You can experiment with making the A negative. And then of course you could just apply your periodic property um, and then get a phase shift, a different phase shift there. So that's the end of this lesson.